Hello, and welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, Seattle by Night. By Night, by Night, by Night. Welcome to... We didn't plan that at all. I'm just going to say... It was incredible. Okay, that I'm just going to cross that off my Jason, sheet I'm sorry. now. Uh, we, <laughs> we won't make any more dramatic lightning or that cool echo not, effects, I but it was don't think you sick. should make promises you can't keep carrying. <laughs> we should begin as we mean to go on. Indeed, right? <laughs> well, we mean to go on with episode two, No Excuses. No Excuses. Before we begin our excuseless episode, though, I think it's time to introduce ourselves. Oh. Starting on my right, who are you and oh, who yeah. are you playing? Uh, yes, hello. Hi, I'm Jasmine, that bronze girl, Bula, and I am playing Betty, the bootlegger, Lasombra. Thank you, Jasmine. Mm -hmm. And I am Luis Carrazzo, and I am playing Enrique Rico Suarez. Uh, Bruja. Huh? Bruja. You want to include an Bruja. adjective there? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 um, uh, like, how, like what? Enrique Rico Suarez. The tender. The tender Rico. Bruja. Suave. The suave. Yeah. The suave. I can't not hear it. I was going to say conflicted, but. Oh, okay. <laughs> and observant. Yes, yes, and yes, observant. yes. yes. Sir. Uh, hey, I am Mike Rahulik, and I'm playing Tom Hollanday's new vampire, new kindred. Fresh. Fresh. Out of the gate. <laughs> and, uh... Still has that new smell. That yes. new vampire smell, which I don't know if it's good or bad. Hmm. <laughs> I've got it all over New vampire over me, stench. I've yeah. heard it smells like nacho cheese. <laughs> for for oh, Tom, it definitely it. does. Yeah, probably does. Uh, he's still trying to come to terms with the fact that he cannot eat, but he is an artist. So it's, it's tough for me to play. It's a stretch. It's difficult. It's hard time. Difficult yeah. role. We'll try some typecasting next time. Yeah, so yeah. That'll make you happier. Line it up. Okay. Line it up. You could. And oh well, I, I am uh, Jerry Holkins, um, but for the purposes of this um, uh, chronicle, I'm Jameson Keen, uh, a Nosferatu, whose jaw has a hard time staying entirely in place. Oh yeah, I'm a Toridor. Yes. I forgot to mention that. You see, the, the true heads know. You, they heard the art thing and they're like, oh, yeah. Tori. Yeah, obviously mm -hmm. it's a Tori. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the family's got you. Yeah. Yeah, they know. Uh, and I'm Jason Carl from the World of Darkness. Dark. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. I knew you couldn't keep the promise. That's okay. It's good to be able to count on things. <laughs> and here we are with episode two, No Excuses. A quick recap. You are... On a mission, you are trying to locate a ghoul who is missing. A ghoul by the unfortunate name of Wendell. Mm -hmm. Wendell is the ghoul of a Toreador. Yes. Mm -hmm. A friend of your friend, Evangeline. Evangeline. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? And uh, the name of that uh, domator, as we say, oh. in the world of darkness, is Jerry. With a G and an I. And an for I. The, for the true Jerry heads out there. Mm -hmm. At Evangeline's behest, Jerry revealed it to you that her ghoul was sent on an errand, which is to say Jerry sent the ghoul on an errand, to visit some thin bloods in what the locals call the jungle, which in this case isn't one location, but the collective word for places where unhoused people tend to gather, people who have no place else to go, down in their luck, unfortunate, oppressed, what have you. Uh, it's an overpass in the Ballard neighborhood. It's dark. It's dubious. There is a plywood shack at the far end of this shadowy recess. Someone's probably in there because there's light coming from beneath the door. But between you and the shack, are individuals with flashlights and rocks. And one of those rocks has dented your Range Rover. We're taking a big old chip of paint right off that thing. It's probably a vintage Range Rover, isn't it? Ooh. Not the range. Guys, I'm like this close to frenzying. <gasps> I think we should kill him. Kill him and take the car. I th think that's hear, the best plan wow. here. You hear Betty say, I think we should kill them too. <laughs> 
and keep the car. They say that out loud. Like, do we hear them say, I think we should kill them? You do hear them uh, saying, uh, you do hear them say that out loud. The difficulty for you tactically, of course, is you can't see everybody who might be in this underpass. There are three individuals shining bright flashlights at you, which makes it very difficult to perceive what's beyond them. You know there must be more people there. You can hear them. Can I Somebody use my back there sense? through a rock. Yes, you certainly mm. can. You don't have to roll anything for oh. it. You just do it. You open your senses to the night, and that includes all of your senses. To the rhythm of the night. The rhythm of the night. If, if, you, if, you, if you absolutely okay. must, yeah. yes. Okay. And the rhythm of this night, sir, is so. What you can hear, yeah, very clearly are a number of people, you'd say probably at least a dozen perhaps, uh, shuffling back and forth, moving things around in the shadows behind those flashlights where you can't see them. You hear murmured snips of conversation. I don't know who they are. Did, the, did, did Benny send them? Are they, are, they, are they from the prince? Well, I don't know. She mentioned David, and I don't want to mess with that guy, so who knows? Yeah, but Beetle, I mean, what if, if, if they're really here for Beetle, maybe, you know, maybe we should let him know. Uh, a lot of very quick conversations people trying to decide what to do. Your senses, of course, are preternaturally sharp too. Yeah. But those lights are so bright now. Unfortunately, you're almost blinded by your own improved eyesight. Very oh. difficult to make out distinct shapes okay. with that shining in your face. You can also hear movement further back in the shadows, maybe coming from the plywood shack. The shack. And you smell something very, very strange. You can taste it on the night air, something acrid with smoke and ammonia and blood, and maybe uh, just a hint of incense. You're fairly certain it's coming from the shack as well. I'm getting all of that. You're getting all of that through your heightened senses. Wow. It's almost a, a miasma of sensation. Difficult to pick out individual details until you concentrate. Does it smell like food? Hmm, does it smell like food? No, it okay. definitely doesn't smell like food. There are a lot of different substances that are giving various scents and aromas that reach your nose. None of them are food-like. Got it, okay. Of course, that's information privy only to you at this point. Right. You have vanished from Amongst, sight. Yeah. You are not seen. In fact, anyone who saw you before you vanished now has only the vaguest memory that you were ever there. Yeah. Did, did the door open? The door did the not range? open. Yeah. Mm -mm. So you're free to, you know, sort of oh, and I and, and I and I uh, sort of confident in that, perhaps overconfident, given that we don't really know mm. the makeup of our of our opponents here, uh, I approach the scene with curiosity. I mean, I am I'm looking around. I'm I'm taking note of these. I'm taking note of these these tags. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I can't understand them as well as Tom, but I but I I saw him looking at them. Um, I am also trying to. I mean, I'm going to move beyond the beams of these lights so that I can truly see. Uh, the makeup of this group, mm. and then I'm literally going to make my way back to this plywood shack. That's going to take a few moments Absolutely. to meander your way carefully so that you don't accidentally oh, bump into anyone, everybody trip over there and give yourself away. A wide berth, not just <clears throat> for that reason, but also simply because it's polite. Because it's a courteous thing to it's do. It's polite. Of course. What about Enrico? I got two of the lights on me, the last, because one of them went to Tom. Yes. Uh, I'm hearing, should we kill them? Let's kill them. I don't think I got, I didn't pick up anything more the rest clear of it than was, that. The rest of it was much too sort of okay for you to, to make out. Is there any way for me to determine if these are mortals or if they're thin bloods? Mm. Mm. With the lights shining in your face like this, I mean, how would you know what a, what a, what a thin blood look like? To me? Mm. Do thin blood smell like food? Because mortals do. Interesting. It's a good mm. question. Since you have no experience with the thin-blooded and you mm -hmm. have to rely on, on rumor and supposition, you have really no way of telling. So you're trying to, are you trying to see through the beams of the, of the bright flashlights? I'm going to step forward into it uh, and I'm going to pull out uh, a, 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 a different brick of sorts that I've been carrying with me. 
a certain brick. Could you could you describe the brick? It's a it's a brick of uh, chew, chewing gum. Oh yeah. So this is the brick the, that you ripped from the gum wall yes. in Post Alley, Seattle. Yes. Tore it out. It's composed entirely of desiccated, preused yes. chewing gum. Yes. Disgusting. It is half of that original brick because I did break it in half and I mean, gifted half of it a, to Tom. Uh, there's a yeah. real brick under there somewhere, yeah, under the layers of you know spearmint and juicy fruit and bubble gum and who knows alone what else is coating that thing. What's that? What's he got? Is it a grenade? St stop! It's whatever this is, it's got one of your names on it unless you back off. Daunt is still on. Don is still on. That's an intimidation check. So let's make that um, let's make that roll. Let's do <laughs> let's do charisma and intimidation, and add your hmm. presence Two. dice to it as well. And one is red. What's I'm your intimidation? Yeah, just out of curiosity. <clears throat> My intimidation score. Yeah, yeah. It is three. Three dice, nice. right? So yeah. You should have quite so a large handful of I dice. I should have eight. One, two, three, four. Eight yeah. dice you in your what? pool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. Three. Intimidation. Six. Johnny Great. Big dice over here. Yeah. Yeah. Unless, unless you have a catastrophic failure, it's really unlikely they're going to stand up to you. I'm going to roll collectively for them okay. rather than for each individual. Oh! oh. I see was, one success. There's two successes in that. Oh my God. So what am I going looking to, at? I'm going to use a willpower point because that is embarrassing. This is your guy. <laughs> I, would, I would highly recommend it. Yes. So I can reroll up to three. Yeah, up to three of the black dice. Yep. No no hunger dice. Oh, one more. Three. So three. You beat their roll by one. So you have a margin of victory of one. Wow. Not great. Not great, but. <laughs> Not great. So dang. either. I don't know, maybe they know something. Maybe, maybe they see it's chewing know. gum. And maybe, they're like... <laughs> maybe they are uh, accustomed to being threatened by very scary individuals. Mm -hmm. So a, a murmur, a ripple of movement passes through the people in front of you, both those with the flashlights and those behind them. And they all take a collective pace backwards, but they don't disperse. They don't go away or make room for you. Okay. The flashlights, though, begin to shake. As their hands tremble, I, trying I, to hold them steady. I probably noticed that with my heightened senses, right? That they're you can't a little, really see. Oh. You're you're quite blinded by. Uh, as long as you have the heightened senses on, your your vision is oh, very a, very limited right. because of the bright light that's shining on you. I, I say, listen, unless you're going to kill me with your bad breath, and I toss them to mints. You know, <laughs> let us let us through to see Beetle. You're right that it's a good idea to let us talk to him. The uh, the mints are scooped up immediately, and the flashlight is. <laughs> Taken off your face. Clever. You can see again, finally. Beatrice? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna Cloak of Shadows. So you going Taking to advantage gather of them the shadows around you. And of course, your shadows have a particularly interesting effect, right? Um, don't, don't they look like... Well, uh, actually, I wanted to ask, because I have Shadow Cloak, oh, which allows me to be scary. Yes. And then I think I have Cloak of Shadows that just lets me disappear that in the shadows. That just sort of lets you vanish and become less visible in the shadows yeah. themselves. So do you want to take a step backward Yeah. into the shadows? Yes. Taking advantage of like the wavering flashlights mm -hmm. and the kind of diversion yeah. Tom is creating, I want to like kind of just yeah disappear a little bit. Make a rouse check and succeed. Oh. What does the skull mean? Fail. <laughs> skull. You know what the skull means. You never know. It's worth asking. But maybe if I yeah. pretend that I don't. It's called a bestial and he, failure. He make the rules. I get want. hungry. I mean, allegedly. <laughs> You hear his oh, voice. No. I forgot he does this! Oh, I yeah. forgot he does this! You know how much you hate his voice. Oh. I mean, he should be at the bottom of a canal. Oh, no way. He should, he should have died. But you know, of course, that he's still out there somewhere. And you are always such a disappointment. Slinking away in the shadows. Why don't you do the credit to our blood and eat them? Oh no. Do it. He can actually push things like this because it's your I... bad role. No. <laughs> now the, it's a failure. Yeah. The voice is only in your head. And there is no mechanical push. 
It's merely a sensation in your blood. Did you hear it? Oh. So your hunger increases by one for a total of now two, right? Yeah. So all your future rolls will include those two hunger dice until you slake your thirst. Yeah. But you do this... succeed and step back and let the shadows mm. envelop you. I think Jameson, you would notice it. It goes from like, let me avoid this confrontation to hmm. like a predator. Yeah. Now, just it, like it was milky to shadow. Like, and, yeah, and now, now it's becoming like. It's a tool. Mm -hmm. Now it's to hunt. Hey, where'd she go? Oh, this is really not, this is really not good. Hey, look. Um, okay. So, uh, this. Uh, uh, what do you want? Do I hear any guns clicking? Like when I listen, do I, what do I think? Mm. No, you haven't sound, heard the sound of any uh, okay. firearm hammers being pulled back or any uh, pistol actions uh, sliding. Uh, there is movement. You hear some metal on metal. Maybe somebody's got a piece of pipe or maybe a crowbar like, like Betty had or something else, but nothing that suggests they're going to shoot you. I keep walking forward. Is he in the, is he in the shack? They begin to back away. In fact, they begin to part to yeah. allow you to pass. I'm going to walk forward with them. They move away a lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't notice you, but I'm like, all right. Oh, yeah. Big Tom. Big Tom energy. Uh -huh. I need a wits and awareness roll from Betty. Oh, there might be. Yeah. I have a There's lot of bloods things. out here. Ooh. Ox. One. Mm, not enough. You got now, one. You can, of course. Did you get any successes? I got one success. Hmm. I will offer you a devil's bargain and allow you to succeed at a cost because you didn't beat the margin on the roll. Okay. I'll let you see what's coming. But that Range Rover of yours... It's going to take twice the amount of damage that I was planning. I want to see what's coming. I can buy another Range Rover. Oh, yeah. Fair <laughs> yes, enough. Yes, Fair, yes. Enough. Fair yes. enough. Fair enough. You see it just in time from your vantage point in the shadows. He's got a piece of rebar with still little bits of cement and concrete in it. He doesn't see you, of course, because you're hidden. Instead, he attacks your car. He just takes it, the rebar in both hands and starts wailing on the hood. Smash goes the headlight. Crack goes the windshield. He's just trying to break it apart. Bang, 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 bang. Ooh. Yeah! I, oh, I, this guy's going to die. Yeah. I don't put my mouth on things that I don't know where they've been. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Then he shouts, get them, get them. They're not so tough. What are you waiting for? Oh, yeah, get them, yeah, get them. I, I, <laughs> I do this pretty much. Yeah, come and get it. Can I grab his piece of rebar and start beating him with it? Yes. I think because of, uh, because of uh, the, the, uh, the shadow yeah. uh, effect that you are you're hiding in the shadows, you can be within grabbing distance. Yeah, so as Absolutely. he like reels back to hit again, I'm just mm -hmm. going to grab it. I have two in melee. Do you want to follow that up with an attack? Oh yeah, I'm, like it's Based I'm unhinged it. right now. Yeah. Like like I said, Jameson probably knows it, mm -hmm. but it's like you see like two just like crazed full moons <laughs> yeah. in the shadows. Like the eyes are yeah. gone. He it's has, just like he abyss. has no idea you're there. He's not going to get a chance to uh, resist or avoid it. So go ahead and make the um, make the melee. Um, let's make it um, strength and melee. Okay. So basically, he's going for the next swing, and then there's just nothing in his hands. Yeah. <laughs> That's one success. One success. Yeah. How many total dice are you rolling? Three. Three? Yeah, because I do only you, have, um, I only you, have uh, one in strength, and then I have yeah. two in melee. Do you wish to call upon the power of your blood for the price of a rouse check? Maybe mm. getting hungrier, you can increase the number of dice yeah. in a pool. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Let's do it. Well, so it. let's make a rouse check. Should you do that first? Ideally first, but uh, since he doesn't That's know what's coming. <laughs> this is getting tedious, my darling. Would you please just do the obvious? I love you, Jason. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, you say that now, but we'll see. Oh, my uh, gosh. 
So you get hungrier. You've now got what? Three hunger? Is yes. that right? You've okay. added, a, you've added okay. a third die to yeah. your hunger pool. So yeah. now you're at three hunger. But um, that means uh, add uh, roll two more um, two more black dice. And you can still spend willpower to reroll failures if you need to get that far. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a willpower. All right, you can reroll up to three. This willpower is going down. Hunger's going up. Hunger's yeah. going up. You <laughs> see where this is going? You can see yeah. the graph. Yeah. yeah. The spiral has started. How does that what? happen? What? Not good rolls, huh? No. Okay, she, uh, you got is into it a, her is head. It a total failure. Yeah. Okay. Well, you still have the one. Failure. I have the one, one success. The one success. But all the black die are failures. Okay. Again, he cannot resist. So, mm -hmm. what what did you intend to do? In your head, how is this going to go? I think, in my head, I was going to take the rebar, and stop him mm -hmm. from just intervene. Yeah, Maybe intervene. Grab his wrist. Grab the rebar. Yeah. Take it away. Pin. I think like the way. I, okay. The way I originally envisioned it was like taking it from him and like pinning him. Against mm. the, the, the car. Right. The car. Yeah. Had you rolled enough successes, that would have been possible. But with the minimal one success, which um, just really isn't enough to do what you envisioned, yeah. here's how it goes. It's not. It's not a complete failure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your hand reaches out of the shadows, which of course means he can see you. And even anyone can see you now. Uh, it grabs the rebar. And he's so scared, he yanks back on the rebar. It slips through your hand, cuts your skin. You take a point of superficial, excuse me, two points of superficial damage. He's drawn blood. Vite, you have a livid scar across the palm of your hand. He stumbles backwards and falls on the ground at your feet, holding the piece of rebar up in defense. What would you like to do with him? Sorry, I'm thinking very carefully here because I this is like self control. Now something you're thinking Betty carefully. <laughs> struggles with, hmm. well, and I still have here. my crowbar. Yeah. yeah, and I think it goes from like stop to like I'm going to make an example of him. Oh geez. Well, your convictions aren't in jeopardy, right? This has nothing to do with loyalty, no. and this has nothing to do with making deals. No. So there are no moral lines yet that you are. They're crossing. Yeah, no, this is more about like the disrespect. How do you want to make an example of him? Um, I think I pull out my saber and I cut off his hands. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Both of the ben. ones they're holding up the rebar. Yeah, as they're mm -hmm. the ones holding mm -hmm. up the rebar. So you twist the brawly, the yep. umbrella. Yep. Snick the sword blade. Exposed, shining, in the reflected glow of the flashlights. Make, uh, let's see, make it dexterity and melee. Add a bonus uh, for your saber specialty. That's six dice, three of which are hunger. Yeah. Yeah, that pool's starting to look pretty red. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. looking he's, really red. I'm getting yeah. scared. He's on the ground. His dodge is pathetic from his vantage Ooh. point. Um, How we do? Four, five successes. Whoa! Okay. Zero successes on the dodge. Oh, he, doesn't, he doesn't even get a chance to mitigate the damage. Rebar, hands, no rebar, no hands. <laughs> Those are the two stages. Hands and rebar separate gone. completely and both are gone. He howls in pain, shrieks, more out of fear than in actual excruciation because, of course, it was so fast. He's oh. barely had time for the nerves to register what has happened here. Uh, but he's bleeding on the ground now. The air is filled with the rich scent of mortal blood. And what was a standoff confrontation has now become something very, very different. And multiple things now happen at once. Dang. Sorry, guys. Hey, oh, no. It's, oh, no. It's I was right just trying you, to stop him, but he yes, hurt me. This is what I came here for. I only have yes. five health. So what there was, I so came here for this. Yeah. So. The mortals who were between you and the shack scattered. They want none of this. This mm -hmm. has gone much farther than they had planned for it to go. You're terrifying. You know names that maybe you shouldn't. They're out of here. They start scrambling for the tents, uh, for the back of the overpass, for the shadows, out into the road. They don't want to be here anymore. They are leaving the field of battle, exercising 
discretion is the better part Indeed. of valor. Totally. The door of the plywood shack slams open and a square of yellow light spills out into the campsite. And framed in the doorway, you see a very tall, wiry, bald person wearing a flannel shirt, some jeans and work boots, brandishing an aluminum baseball bat. He is covered in tattoos. Tattoos that you recognize from the handiwork that you've oh. seen earlier tonight. Okay. Oh. You still have heightened senses. Yes, I do. You can see and hear movement and behind him in the shack. He's not the only person in there. There are people behind him, and they're making their way toward the entrance. All right, okay, let's go, let's start the ball. He starts swinging the uh, baseball bat around and around over his head as though yeah. it is a signal. As though it's a signal? Yeah, and you just hear Betty say, you want to tussle, fuck boy? Like, she's still ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Tussle, fuck boy? She's going to jump off of this over to there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll take a piece of that action. Let's go, okay. cowboy. Uh, yeah. All right, mm -hmm. figure, three figures clamber out of the plywood shack doorway. Uh, Any of them recognizable? Hmm. For, well, for, for, for example, like, do they look like a picture that Evangeline might have sent my friend Tom? If yeah. you were hoping to find Wendell here, unfortunately, it's not He's so not convenient. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, but I will describe them to you. In addition to the baseball bat wheeling tattooist, is it, is it tattooist? Tattooist. Tattooist. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the Tattooologist, no, Tattoo perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. Tattoos. Mm. Okay, an important an important research subject for later. Yeah. Uh, there is a uh, a shorter woman uh, with uh, beautiful ebony skin, very short cropped dark hair, um, a gold nose ring, uh, and she is wearing uh, what looks like um, BDUs, and she is brandishing uh, one of those high tech. Hunting knives, not the uh, not the oh. uh, not the kind you would find uh, you know, in an ordinary uh, hunting expedition, yeah. but one of those things that's covered with spikes yeah. and uh, reverse teeth, and you know, <laughs> yeah. probably uh, you know, a gutter for letting blood. Uh, Fuller, I it's believe prosumer. they're called. Wow. Okay. Mm, oh, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize we were in the presence of an expert. Uh, yeah. Sounds it's huge. It's huge. It's it's almost a machete, uh, and then a, a wide muscular person. So wide and so muscular that they're almost built like an inverted triangle. Very broad sideways to get top, out of the shack. You know? <laughs> very broad muscular shoulders and a very narrow waist. Very athletic. I was going to write a description, but I'm just going to do a triangle. I just do a triangle. Do a triangle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they have uh, short cropped blonde hair. Very blonde. Probably, I'm just going to put that on the triangle. Probably peroxide mm -hmm. involved at some point here. Uh, no weapons visible on that individual, but they're backing their guy up and ah. they're headed out here into the clearing, uh, ready to bring it. Mm -hmm. Beetle? Uh. He stops moving and <laughs> he doesn't lower the baseball bat, but he stops swinging it. I'm a big fan. Who the hell are you people? <laughs> well, we didn't come looking for trouble, but that's what we were met with. We want to talk. Got a funny way of showing it. Your people got a funny way of showing their welcome. Look what she did! That guy didn't have there's a head when we got no here. no remorse. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's, there's just like no remorse here. He starts to lower the baseball bat. Where's Kilmead? I'm Kilmead. Or the Beatle. Who are you? <laughs> oh. Same guy. My name's Tom. Uh, these are my friends. We're looking for... I know this seems weird. We're looking for a guy... Uh, do you know any ghouls around here? What? <laughs> no. You roll into my place, you scare my people, you cut off at hands that mean you, you mask. His name is Wendell? <laughs> my face gets cold. Do you know anyone named Wendell? Who sent you? Did Benny send you? Are you Benny's people? Are you David's people? We might be. This but something's not right here. Get yeah, out of here. Go we away. We are Betty's people. And I'm like shaking the blood <laughs> shaking off the blood. of my mm. saber. The man whom you cut, whose hands you chopped off, let's be plain about it, yeah. is clutching both of his stumps to his chest. And he's rolling around on the gravel, moaning. Mm -hmm. And he's also bleeding out, and he's going to die. 
I don't care. <laughs> I mean, you have, I mean, he's got a lot of other he guys. He hurt here. me. He's, he hasn't he crossed the personal truck. conviction line. <laughs> like, my hands are bleeding. So there is the chronicle tenet to be considered. Be a person, no, not a beast. But I'm not sure, I'm not convinced as the storyteller that this has yet crossed that line. What do we think? I, I offer it up for conversation. I, 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 I feel like we're still on this side of it, but I do I, think... I tend to agree. Yeah, I think Tom is surprised by Betty's play, <laughs> but mm -hmm. he's still, he's willing to back it for now. They had it coming. I think like what Betty's mad, it's not even about the car, because I was like, oh, she can buy another one. It's about the fact that like this was about to go peacefully, and this guy was like, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then when she tried to stop him, he like ripped her hands up. I think she's like, "Well, you wanted a tussle. Mm -hmm. You yeah. got what you wanted." Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, they it said is, kill them. It is violent. It is arguably she's a shockingly bit of adjust violent. The car, but you know? I'm not convinced that it's bestial. Yeah, I'm no, not. No, I'm no, not yeah. convinced that that this is vampiric any more than it is simply violent. Yeah. So I don't think we're at that red line yet. I think you're so far on the on the right side of the humanity line, but it, it's close. It's close. Letting him die? Probably not. Who knows? Who knows? But if, you're, if we're trying to build a relationship, and I want to stay away from this so that I'm a piece that can be played when we Down need the it the you most, are, right? So you're going to remain hidden for now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, from your vantage point, can see inside the shack behind them. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just, as, as the triangle leaves, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, triangle. I'm just going to go right in. Saunter right up. Ex exactly. So even nice. in the light of the shack, he is completely invisible? It's, I don't mean to like the, fuck with your It's shit. psychological. Yeah, that's what I was, I'm yeah. thinking. It's not yeah. It's not okay. literally, that's really cool. Yeah. It is not literal invisibility. He's still there. Yeah, yeah. If a camera were to be trained on him, it would see him clearly. But in the minds of the people who saw him vanish and anyone who is looking, at least casually, he's just I'll not there. Him. The mind tells you he's unnoticed. not there. Now, if he interacts with the environment in a in a certain way, mm. you know, if he were to start, you know, opening and closing the door, yeah. that might give him away or make a lot of noise. Yeah. But for me, I just this can happen, and I I trust them to handle it. Mm -hmm. There's a million ways that this can go from here. None of them accrue to me. Mm -hmm. uh, this is they will be able to manage this any one of a hundred ways, but. This is an opportunity for me to just slip past the triangle. Yes. Take a look in there. It sounds like he, if that, if that is in fact Kilmeade, well, that's who Jerry sent Wendell to. True. Mm -hmm. um, and if a Kilmeade is in fact the beetle as well, this is, this is quite an interesting conflux as well. So I am simply here yes. get, gathering more context. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna interact with anything visible from the door. I'll tell you two things about the shack at this point then, since you're the only one who's close enough to see in any great detail, and also close enough to smell what Tom was smelling. Oh. A, a roiling miasma of ill humors yeah. wafts out of the shack. There's something cooking in there, and yes. it is not pleasant. You smell mortal blood, you smell ammonia, you smell something that might be lemon pledge, you're not sure, you know, sort of sh furniture polish, uh, okay, so other more in, acrid smells. Okay, so they're engaging in some kind of, do vampires take drugs? You also see mm, this is a, a great lot of question. shelves lined with various containers, glass bottles, tin cans, Tupperware, each one neatly labeled. There must be a hundred different containers in there, you can't even see them all from your vantage point, but from where you are, you see things, labels like battery acid, Brillo pads, fluoride, kerosene, just stuff that makes no connected sense Pure at all. chaos. Weird. Huh. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, 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 I labeled I, chaos. Some kind of blood, yeah, exactly, chaos. <laughs> now remember, you can't talk to anybody either if you want to stay hidden. No, no, absolutely, I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. I just thought what you said was interesting. The yeah. idea that they're combining, I'm a very interesting person. The idea that they're combining <laughs> these things and more, so the mortal blood, does it look like it's part of this apparatus? Difficult, or is it here in the room? Difficult really to see unless you're going to m walk up the steps of the shack and you know, actually I'm go going inside. Right, I'm going right in. All right, let's hold that thought. Yeah. Meanwhile, out in the uh, the parking lot, shall we say, mm -hmm. the compound the, area. The foyer. The yes. foyer, mm -hmm, the entry, the, um, uh, the um, abattoir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Kilmeade, or the beetle, mm -hmm. uh, points at the man you sliced with his baseball bat. Somebody help that guy. 
From out of the shadows, some of the individuals who confronted you earlier emerge. Uh, they have a, an old wool blanket. They create a makeshift stretcher. They get the guy into it, and um, they cart him away deeper into the recesses of the shadowy overpass away from you. Hmm. All the while, they're kind of looking over their shoulder at you as though you're going to come after them any I'd second. I'd be with them. How do you feel now? Is Hungry. your rage spent? Has justice been served? Hmm. It's going to be really depressing. She's ashamed of herself. Oh, oh, she, really? let, she, let, oh she let this thing yeah. get like, the better of her, she's right? She's like really embarrassed, yeah. yeah. Even though she hasn't crossed the moral line, her moral line, she still feels ashamed. Yeah. She's better than that. Mm-hmm. She's better than that. Mm-hmm. She's better than that. <laughs> She's a little She's humiliated, better. but better. Uh, the three figures: the uh, shorter black woman, the triangle, and Kilmead now are in the center of the compound, the the courtyard, the foyer, yeah. and they're standing right in front of you mm-hmm. and you. He hasn't put the bat down, and she hasn't lowered her knife, but they don't look like they're going to attack you. Great. Yeah. Nice ink. Yeah, I mean, I'm a fan of your work, too. Oh, yeah? I am, yeah. No shit. Love the tags you do, love the ink you do. It's all good stuff. Who the hell are you? Name's Tom. Tom, Tom, Tom. Don't I know? Like the sauce. Don't I know? I mean... Yeah, I worked downtown for a little bit. I I thought you... I I heard he was dead. Oh, that was my brother. No, I heard heard Tom Hollandaise died. Are you... How are you... Oh, oh... That's right. Oh. Yep. Yep. Well, double shit. Yeah. yeah. Triple yeah. shit. I like say sauntering up behind <laughs> yeah. them. Like I and this is the first time you probably see like Betty hiding behind Tom a little yeah. bit. Yeah. This is awkward, but yeah, where's I am the, dead. Where's the sword? It's like like I said, she like flicked the blood off of it and it's just like yeah, she doesn't know what to do with it. Yeah, it's like just like so there she, awkward. She's put it back yeah. into yeah. the umbrella. Yeah. This doesn't have to get crazy. Uh, we just came to ask you a couple questions. Right. Suppose I don't want to talk to you. I mean, nothing personal, but you're you're the real deal, right? You're uh, you're licks. Well, we're here to do business oh, on Betty's I behalf, know. and I promise Is we're licks? much better to deal with do we than like David. How do you know that guy? <laughs> uh, well, let's just say him and my employer hate each other. He's a good customer. Betty's a better one. And you're Betty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Dude, oh, it's only the shame. Wow. She has just been completely exposed. The yeah. last twenty minutes have been yeah, no, like earth. all That's the rough. all the mm. normal smoothness mm. is just like gone. Hmm. And you, what's with the? What do you got? My so, face. Something to hide. <laughs> gets cold. <laughs> Come on, man. You want to do business or not? Yeah, we absolutely. Got, are you all here to buy? Yep. Yes. In a sense, yeah. <laughs> we, I've heard that people of your clan, of your kind, are skilled with um, alchemy. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. And I've heard that that bastard, David, has been known to... Yeah, he, he makes a purchase women. now and then. But like I said, he pays really well. And you're prepared to pay more? Yes. I have connections in the uh, trade in Seattle. And I'm looking to bring something better to the market. And I think it might help your standing here uh, now i know that as things stand um people of your alignment of your affliction are not normally a, f- a fucking gliction what <laughs> you aren't... sound like a cami you guys camis you camis Winston. aren't you <laughs> no uh, we're sort of free agents which is why i think we might be uniquely poised to help you out you anarchs no we're free agents. Indie? Yeah. Benny know you're here? No. Does Benny know we're here? Does it no, matter? No, I can, I can see that you don't really 
you know what you've gotten yourself into here. But we're in it. And there's no way out, right? Does Benny know you're here? Oh, yeah, <laughs> Benny knows where to find us. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Yeah, good. <laughs> Man, if I ever get him alone in the alley and get the drop on him, he swings around his aluminum bat. Crack that guy's skull. Well, what if we solved your Benny problem for you and you solved... <laughs> you're going to kill the prince's enforcer? Is that what you're offering? This is great. You really are prepared to pay more. Do you hear well, that, Safi? No. This is fantastic. <laughs> I didn't say I was going to... <clears throat> dispose of anyone but rather maybe have a chat with him so maybe he stops bothering you now that you can see mr triangle a little bit more clearly he has one really distinctive feature that you couldn't perceive before because it was so dark on his face there is i don't know a burn a scarring uh it's like a crude letter m with lines that go up one cheek across his brow jesus down the middle of his nose to the top of his lip and on the opposite side it's a deep livid burn scar nothing no. nothing really i was trying not to look i didn't want to be rude i mean i <laughs> Cammy's did this. Oh. oh. Did what? You look great, man. I don't see it. Benny's don't Benny's see it. got a pet. Uh calls it a like a I don't know, a causticker or something. I don't know. It's, it's fucking Tremere. Blood sorcerer did this. That's all they did? They do it to all of us if they can find us. They're branding uh, you? Is that what that's for? Because you're because we're different with thin bloods. Exactly. Okay, so they're marking them out here. Yeah. They use this weird, I don't know, liquid silver and blood and magic. Weird. So they don't just they don't just remove them. They they want to make sure that we whole hierarchy. They yeah. want to make sure that we can't have a life. That's fucked up, man. Yeah. Right. Listen. I I know something of your predicament. I, I don't know if you're aware of Seattle's history, but... Are you addressing all of them or, yeah, or a triangle? Yeah, all of them. Mm -hmm. um, They're listening. But people that don't have equality societally can oftentimes have upward mobility by creating value criminally underground what do you think we're doing out here she's why bad. do you think i'm here she's bad oh i see what you mean yes now when i came to seattle i didn't have much to my name and things weren't really great for women businessmen but fair i found that with money and greased palms even the bastards in power will sometimes look the other way you look like you're doing okay now i would like to help you do okay as well and i think we're in a position to help each other they look at each other and there is an unspoken conversation happening between them with their eyes Kilmeade, or the beetle, turns to you, Tom. Yep. And he rolls up the sleeve of his flannel shirt and shows you the intricate designs mm -hmm. on his arm, the tattoos. Yeah. They're beautiful. Okay. Great They're work. absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic technique. Yeah. Vibrant colors that haven't faded. Mostly diagrams of city scenes. There's the Space Needle. There is Mount Rainier. There is the Kalakala, the old ferry. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then he passes his hand over his skin ever so gently and the shapes, the tattoos shift. What? Oh. The space needle. That's what Tom says. Suddenly <laughs> changes color. Then blood shift. Is this the, key? the ferry sinks below the waves of the oh, bay. Damn. 
That's some really nice work. Where did you get that done? I did that. I would love to know how you did that. I bet you would. <laughs> Tom Holland is the dead tattooist, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, I heard you just, you know, died or vanished or something. I didn't realize you'd get in the big bite. Uh, it wasn't really a choice. I mean, I didn't plan for it, but things happen and you make do with the hand that you're dealt, right? Ain't that the truth? Yeah. But I I can't tattoo anymore. You, I mean, vampire skin doesn't hold ink. That's right. Unless you know how to do it. Hmm. Boy, I'd love to chat with you about that. I bet you would like to do that too. And I just want you to know, I don't think you're any less of a person than my friends here. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> but I'll let it go for now. I think we're on the same level. That's the most Seattle uh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> really That's the most Seattle <laughs> shit. I don't know. I'm just saying it's not <clears throat> an issue for me. I don't even see blood. <laughs> oh my! So, you don't see Clay. I got. <laughs> I don't. I can't believe you just sent that. I ought to crack your skull open for you. But it's hard to. So we're cool. <laughs> you I understand. Yeah. That one's an enigma. Mm -hmm. we're, we're learning him still. So. Oh, says the face mask. Yeah, well, like I said. <laughs> His face gets cold. Yeah. <laughs> I just like gently reach Did over and like start to pull up the face mask. I start to pull it back down. <laughs> I back. just let it go like yeah, and that's this fine. far up. That, that's a concession. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's a concession. Yes. Yeah. Right? I'll meet you halfway. How's that? Fine, fine, whatever. It's kind of late anyway now. So, all right. Look, um, you know me. Uh, this is Safa, and this is Jorgen. 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 I assume that's triangle. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I'm just going to write his name inside of a triangle, if that's okay. <laughs> now that tempers have calmed down a little, I just got to say, you're lucky that we're the ones. The ones yeah. that you run into, because others like us would not have been so kind. Actually, you know that we're, we're pretty familiar with what, we're familiar with how that goes down. Right, and I gesture to Triangle's face, Scar. Yeah. That's not, that That doesn't have to happen here. None of that, none of us want that. We just want what to What the hell are you gonna yeah. do about <laughs> it? Are you offering to, you know, topple the Camarilla? First it's, you know, I'm gonna get rid of Benny, and then uh, now it's, you know, toppling the ivory tower. I don't know who you people know. think you are. It's full oh. service, apparently, Safa around here. just starts laughing to herself. I think at this point, <laughs> Benny's laughing too. Yeah. None to of us came here with that offer. We just came in peace to have a conversation. The aggression started on your side, and I'm saying you're lucky that we weren't different folk. Because that aggression that we were met with would have been your end. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> excuse us if we don't fall on our knees in gratitude, but you got to put Look, what I'm saying is, we're clearly not asking you to do that. <laughs> not yet. <clears throat> I fucking love this guy. Can we go to We day? have questions. We're looking for someone. Well, let's uh, let's let's get out of the out of the lot here. I don't. I'm out of the compound. I don't. You never know who's watching. Can we go into your shack? It's probably the best place. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of the shack. So you and then I'll quick... come back in with you guys. You took a quick look inside, right? Yes. So I'll describe to you what you saw, and when you enter the shack, you can take it as read that you've seen the same thing. Uh, there are um, three or four um, pressure cookers and a couple of crock pots, and they're all bubbling away with substances inside them. The air inside the shack is uh, damp with warm moisture. Yeah. It's steamy. It's strange and tangy. And yeah, 100 or more containers, all labeled with just mundane stuff. Marshmallows, cigarette butts, iron shavings. What? None of it makes no. any sense. They got some Clorox over there. Yeah. There are several jars labeled different blood types, O positive, AB negative, okay. et cetera. Yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. is, 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 uh, this how he, is this his apparatus for making his inks? This is what I'm wondering. Anyway. There is, in fact, uh, a tattoo chair and gun Inside and ink set up in the shack. Huh. Oh. Wow. Interesting. I think. Come on in. Come on in. This Coming is, in, uh, Betty's going to grab a jar 
of like type AB. <laughs> and pour it down? <laughs> Just start drinking it. Hey, that's my stash. I'll get you back, I swear. Okay, it's it's mostly fresh. It hasn't had time to I have coagulate iron too much. Yeah. You so can I drink could, anything. Matter. I could drink like a rancid That's true. You jar. could drink a clot. It yeah, matter. the rest no, of you, yeah. this is probably like disgusting because no, no, no. it's been sitting. But it has for been me, around for a day or two. Yeah, yeah I love it. You just go to somebody's house, open the yeah. fridge, just start yeah. drinking their paint. Mm -hmm. yeah. Drinking yep. their paint. You just see me like crack yeah. it open. It looks like something you'd use to make meth, and I'm just like drinking Jeez. it. Oh. Now, this does raise an interesting question, and that is what happens to Jameson after they all go inside the shack? And the door begins to close. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I think that it's like, if, if I had heard that conversation, I would like go out. And then I think I would like try to come back and say, sorry, I'm late. Ah, so appear? Yes. Before the door is shut. Yeah. Well, since you're the one who isn't being seen and observed, I think you can time your own yeah, entrance. That, that's, what it's, that's what I feel like. Yeah. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Whoa, where'd you come from? <laughs> the bat starts swinging around again. Look out, I got this guy. He's, 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 he's with us, he's with us. Sir. It's okay. Sir, I have seen. Don't do that. Safa puts down the knife. It's like, yeah, I he's going to get yourself now, killed around. Now, Thomas, I understand that these are called tags. And I have seen many tags, and they are of the highest quality. He's an art lover. Do so you know what he's talking about? Yeah, he's fine. He's a little senile. <laughs> I know it a couple times. Just... Yes. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe this night. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Oh, uh, all right. So you've met us. Uh -huh. I'm Kilmeade. I'd rather I'd prefer Beetle. Right? Uh, he pulls up his other sleeve, and you see a sleeve full of... Uh, iridescent, beautifully inked oh, scarab be beetles really cool that looking. wind their way. The ink is actually iridescent. It's iridescent. Oh, oh, just lifelike cool. like shapes that. and colors. <clears throat> and so I'm, I'm just, I just take a look at the shelves marked with this chaotic menagerie of materials. And I say, are, sir, are you some kind of sorcerer? I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. What do you want us to call you? I don't care what your real names are, use them or don't, but we, we got to call you something. They already met me, I'm Betty. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> drinking yeah. out of the mason Shung jar. It down yeah. on it. It's nasty, it's gross, oh. but as you say, you it's have the, food, you have the food. merit. Iron gullet. So that's going to take away one of the hunger dice. Thank God, I was at three. Thank the Lord. Lord. You're down to nice. two. You have to nice. top it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get that juice. Mm -hmm. Whole mason jar is worth. Yeah. <laughs> Just drinking it. Yeah, it's the only A B negative I had too. Yep. It's real. Yeah. So you're Betty. You're Tom Hollandays. Apparently the 24 Tom Hollandays. <laughs> wow. He has no choice. Yeah. Okay. He's quite devoted what to it. What about you, masked Avenger guy? That's the it's a good way to go. The Avenger. Call me the Avenger. Okay. Whatever. And Mr. Stark. Oh yes. I'm not calling you Tony Stark. <laughs> Oh, can I be can I be Tony Stark? Is it too late to change? Call yourself whatever you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take Stark. I don't care. Yeah. You, oh, wait, or are you Stark? I'm confused. No. no, I extend a hand. He is Batman, is what yeah, I sure heard. Is. Thomas, is Batman. 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 I'll, I'll I'll laugh at the joke and then stop immediately. Um, Look, Jorgen, uh, you you take perimeter. I don't know if they were followed. I don't even know if I trust them. So you take a look around, Safa. You just stay here with me. Safa nods. She does not put away her knife. It makes herself comfortable in a corner. So, but I, I, I extend a firm uh, handshake if he will accept it on his end. Uh, and yeah, say, what the hell? Hey, hey. Mr. Keen. Keen. Well, I'd say pleased to meet you, but it wouldn't be, you know, the honest truth. So <laughs> whatever. Acceptable so, given the circumstances. Yeah. Sorry about your car. That'll buff right out. <laughs> Less worried about the car, was more worried about a brawl that I wanted to avoid. I preferred not to get into it with, you know. I help. mean, and they have incredible prosthetics now for your friend. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, he's probably dead. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> nah, if he was dead, they would have told me. He's going to get hands that are better than the ones that he lost. What, are you paying for that? I just, I just thought you guys would have some kind of medical or... It's not easy to live out like this, you know. I'm sure, yeah. I don't, I don't know what you think we got access to, but... 
Uh, apparently, well, quite a lot. I know what you have access to. You have access to a ghoul that's gone missing that's come to see you. That's the second time you guys have talked about that. A, who the hell cares? And B, <laughs> I love what? It. Well, let's get down to brass tacks, Mr. Kilmeade. Or do you said you prefer the beetle? the beetle? Just call me Beetle. The Beetle. Beetle it is. Mr. Um, the Beetle. Now, yes. we are new to Seattle, and uh, okay. like I said, we are free agents. But a friend of ours from Tacoma let us know that you have unfortunately caught the Ivory Tower's attention. Now, Tell we're trying we to know. intercede so that we can help our friend and potentially help you in the process. Now, I don't care about this ghoul. You don't care about this ghoul. Nope. But... Somebody the individual does. who lost this ghoul is very precious to the prince, and that is a problem for you. I'm sure you can see why. Prince Campbell cares about this ghoul? From my understanding. Our Through a chain of events, sure. Yes. Well, no, it was, um, sorry, in, in I, I, oh, oh, see, it was, it was Lou that nope. cared, Nope, right? nope, nope, uh, don't tell me anymore, don't want to know. Nope. <laughs> no, I ain't messing with Lou Graham. But you already are, at least somebody thinks you are. Things are bad. What? Yeah. Somebody thinks that the ghoul that went missing came to see you and was last seen here oh, with you. this is awful. The people it who come after us aren't going to be as nice. It will only be time. It will just be a matter of time before they come for us. That's then. the point we, we have been trying to make. We've got to get out of here. Oh, I don't want to move all this shit. That yeah, looks really heavy. You never well, had a ghoul come to see you. You never had someone by the I, name I, of Wendell I, come to see you. Oh, Wendell. Yeah. Indeed. Okay, I know who you mean now. That's who you're looking for? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, sure. Um, Wendell was here not too long ago. I don't know, four or five nights maybe. Right. He uh, came to uh, pick up a delivery package for his boss, Jerry, with a G. And what did he pick up? Uh, it's kind of privileged information, wouldn't yeah, you say? Want to what's, what's, what, what, uh, what, uh, what are you going to give me for that kind of thing? I... Why don't you ask Jerry? She sent him. I have access to more vehicles like this one, bigger ones, that are very good at moving equipment and doing so discreetly. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think I could probably procure one large enough for your operation to potentially be a mobile one. Now, consider that and consider that value, that the value that that brings, and then consider exactly how much about your dealings you want to let me know. Like because a, I think we could work together like here. A, like a food truck for like a food truck right? for tattoos. For your tattoos, right? Is and, that what all and, this stuff and, is and for? And for cooking. What are you cooking? What's on the menu? Yes, indeed. I, I, I believe I, I follow your meaning, sir. And I, I think this could be a very novel sort of food truck. Well, I would hear her cooking. out. He points to the different containers, the pressure yeah. cookers. The crock pots. That one over there in the crock pot, in the blue crock pot, that'll make you fly. Now, I mean, I'm, I mean, like fly. Superman. Yeah, well, maybe not quite like Superman, but yeah. Uh, in the red crock pot over there, uh, suck down enough of that, and uh, you don't have to worry about fire for a little while. It won't keep you safe from the sun. I'm still working on that. I think I think I know how to do it now. But you won't get burned. Not for a little while, anyway. Wow. Now. This motherfucker's crazy. I'm not crazy. Uh, it actually works. I'm, Do I have to show you? I've yeah. heard. Yeah, show us. Show us. Of, of things that Tin Bloods can do with their Vitae, which is partially why. This is why Our they, kind this is, despises them. Because there's something they have. Where mm, other people that we see. Don't. You know, an abomination. I just see pure potential. What makes you so egalitarian? Yeah. The pro the I'll have motive. you know that back when I went, you know, into my own business, women weren't even allowed to vote. No shit. Or own property. Like a thousand years ago? What is it? I mean, a thousand more or less. Beetle. <laughs> He's not well read. His 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 skills lie elsewhere, Beatrice. A thousand years ago. Well, sure. Yes. Okay, I take your word for a it. A thousand years ago. I take your word for it. So, okay, so you're helping us basically out of self interest. Well, yes. Well, I understand. Is there another reason why people I can help understand people? that? Yeah, good point. But 
It would also be in your self-interest. You see, when I make deals, I try to make them fair. I like the truck idea a lot. I mean, it would take, I mean, we And could... you didn't have that idea, and I've been here for five minutes, and I've already made this whole mm. operation more safe, more secure, and more mobile. And usually when we need a car, we just boost it, but... This will probably garner you a lot I'm, less attention. I know what you're thinking. Please tell me. I can't <laughs> teach you how to do this. Oh. As far as I know, only we can do it. To each other or to vampires, too? Is telling him part of the deal? Well, yes. That would have to be part of the deal. It'll help get him on board, that's for sure. I don't know if I'm on board. <laughs> he doesn't know if he's on board. You can learn to do this to Kindred. Yeah? You can make tattoos on Kindred skin. It isn't easy. And you have to learn a kind of blood magic to do it. Not the kind I do. It's different. As far as I know, only we can do it this way. Okay. But there is a way. And there are is a kindred in the city who does it and can teach you. Does he have a website or? Yeah, I think that piece of information is one I'm going to hold myself for a little while okay. until we see if this is really Just on the up and up. Until, and they get the, until they get the truck. It's enough for me for now. So Wendell. Yeah. Yeah, he came for a pickup. Jerry has a certain um, brew she likes to buy from us. Is that number three? Because we didn't quite get that far yet. No, it's not. In, well, in the you mean the pressure cookers? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, that's just tattoo ink. That third one is just tattoo ink? All three of those are tattoo ink. Oh. People you get the flight, come, the fire immunity, and then? People come to me for ink. Oh. Kindred, but the ink when has. they find out what we can do, they don't always want to go to a kindred who can do it. So you don't drink it? No. They're not potions. You, you, no. You use it's a gun and a needle. Tattoos. How do you do tattoos? How do you make tattoos with a gun and a needle, right? Yeah, exactly. Me too. Magical tattoo. Wait, 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 wait. Just Just that power for how long? Is that what that is? Forever. As long as you have the tattoo, it grants you that, that power? Oh, wait a second. I think you're being We're confused. Crossing wires. Yeah. Right yeah. I was like, ho, ho, ho. No, 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 so the no, pressure no. cookers are tattoos, but these other things Cross are on the menu. Yeah. Right. Oh, the you drink those. Yeah. Those go on your skin. Uh, I'm not okay. sure what would happen if you drank. Well, go ahead. Give it a try. <laughs> Fuck, time. I care. Next time. Go for it. <laughs> Give all this to his mouth and he puts it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, that, that gets, well, if you're lucky, if this all goes well, maybe I'll let you watch. So my dad said. Hmm. Okay. Why would you your learn father tattooing from your dad? I don't know. I, I think this is a jest. It was, yeah, it was. Oh, I thought maybe he taught you how to. How to no, eat. no. I don't think it was intended as a factual. So oh. kindred sometimes come to me to get ink. Really? Sure. Because he can do it. I can do it. I'm better than I'm better than the lick is who does it. I'm better than the lick tattoo artist. I would love to get a and, piece. And you know, coming to me guarantees a certain amount of anonymity. Yeah. God, is it time? Is it time to get new work? So you can do tattoos on I can. us. Yes, I can. That'll stay. Absolutely. If I wanted to. I'm not feeling like I want to yet, but maybe <laughs> we'll see. Right now. We'll see. Right now I'm working on a truck. Yeah, right. Working on a truck too. And part of that deal is back to what we were Wendell. talking about. Yeah. So the deal is what? I give up Wendell and... Uh, so you have Wendell. If you can give him up. I don't. Really? I don't. No, no, no. Let's be, let me be clear. Let me be <laughs> is clear. He in the room with us right yeah, now. Yeah. Is there a Wendell under uh, the rug? No. Is there a jar labeled Wendell? <laughs> <laughs> what blood type was he? <laughs> well, it's possible, what, but there is no jar labeled Wendell that you can yeah. see. What was it that Jerry fetched him to get? Okay, let's, let's, let's get down to brass tacks on this deal. I'm going to give up Wendell. I'm going to tell you what he was here for and what I know about what happened to him. And what happens then? I get a truck? I get a truck big enough to set up a mobile operation? Is that it? Yes. Hmm. This is a pretty good deal. And that's the part that Betty's struggling with because her conviction is to always make the best always deal. Always make the best deal. But she also feels like I'm, really bad for these people. I'm glad and you mentioned it before really I did. <laughs> yeah. Because so. it's sitting right here, burning yeah. a hole in your character sheet. Well, on the scales, there are also a pair of hands. Yeah, True. I know, I, what and that's there? what I'm saying. Like she's reeling from feeling bad about what she, like what she did a little yeah. bit, a little mm. bit, not a lot. No, 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 not all the way. But then also just like 
but he is feeling from, bad for these people. Yes. Because any power Betty has, she has from ruthless dealing. An unfamiliar feeling. Yeah. It's like, it, she doesn't mm. like it. What would make She's this... She's been alive for like 120 years, yeah. and this has happened maybe like twice. What would make this right for Betty? What constitutes the better deal? While you're thinking about that, <laughs> Kilmead says, hey, you mentioned David, another good paying customer that you're paying more for. Why do you care about him? I mean, he's, I don't know what you guys are yet, but he's truly an indie. He's not an anarch. He's not Camarilla. Oh, okay. He just does so his this, own thing. This competitor of yours, is, this is... Well, I hate him, so there's that. <laughs> Bit of a... Yeah? Yeah. He's a real good customer, so well, I'm not really he's horrible inclined because to He sells your out. information to people that are looking for you, and then you have to move again and again and again. What? Yeah, so there's that. Can you prove that? Probably, yes. <laughs> I've had to move because he gave my information away. Doxed you? So he's a traitor? Yes. Stabbing the back type. Okay, look. But he's a useful traitor, and that's why people keep him around. I, I'll sweeten the deal. Okay. I'll give up Wendell and the information about his, his boss's purchases. All right. We get the truck. You bring me proof of any kind that David has been ratting us out, I will give him to you on a platter. I know exactly where he sleeps. Wow. Good times for Betty, I guess. It's, it's, okay. it's, it's the Betty sewed. Oh, he I was, do like he that. was stupid enough to have us do a delivery to his place Ooh. once. Wow. But I can't, I can't have our customers blabbing our secrets. Can't do, it's bad for business. You, know, for what, business. you know what I'm saying? No. I know what you're saying. Yeah, of course, of course. And Speaking of business, you should call it potions mm. in motion. Potions in motion. I like it. I can see. I can already see I the like it. it's a diagram. Maybe it should be shaped like a big test tube. Where is, I don't know. What am I saying? <laughs> getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Some kind of a beaker. I don't know. Think about social. Activate social media. Too. Hey, Safa, go check on Jorgen. He should have checked in by now. Oh boy, oh. that was very well done. So she excuses herself. She sort of waves the knife nonchalantly around at all of you. Yeah. You know, don't mm -hmm. try anything stupid while I'm gone. This place is rigged to blow. Hmm. No, um, he, no, she's she's serious. Okay. Yeah, I, I can it. blow this place up if I have to. Are you kidding? It might. I mean, some night it might come to that. Oh, very strategic. I'm going to check on the car. Yeah, as you say that, I'm just gonna say one one little thing. I just kind of like lean so into is him this, a little bit. So, are you talking to Safa before to she leaves to Beetle? Because yeah. she's just gonna go yeah. out the door. Yeah, she's gonna, yeah. she said no. All right. I lean into Beetle and I say, I have a little bit of a blood trade lined up in Tacoma. I'll replace the jar I drank, of course, but what if I were to give you a very, very deluxe sample? of what I can give you in return for Tom getting maybe just like a small piece, nothing more than what would take six hours of your time. <laughs> you want me to ink Tom? A full sit. Just like something small. Tacky Town, huh? <laughs> huh. Tacky Town. I hear, uh, I hear Prince uh, Tall, Dark, and Gruesome is back in action yeah. down there. Yeah. Yeah, we heard stories about him. I, I've never met him. That was before my time. He's but, a friend uh, of ours. He, every the story, fuck you say? every, Come on. every the fuck story I say? you've the heard about him is true. <laughs> and then some. Come on, you're telling me you know Gravenstein? Well, next time you talk to him, ask him about us. Yeah, because that's really <laughs> likely to happen. I don't know if out. you're telling the truth or not, but that's pretty gutsy claim. That's a it's a bold statement. I, you, I, you know, Gravenstein. I look forward to the moment this statement wow. might be tested. I mean, I'm inclined to believe you because if you you know if you took his name in vain and it got back to him, your lives wouldn't be worth a spit. I, if we weren't just his friends, we were his coworkers. Yeah, <laughs> we knew him from work. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we worked together yeah. on a job. Literally, he is the one man that I have met where literally every story about him is true. We got to see him work. Wow. I want to be him when I grow up. I heard he ate a horse once. 
I believe it. Why? I saw him rip a man's arm off and beat him over the head with it soundly. <laughs> soundly. <laughs> oh, this is the weirdest night. But these are all incredible tattoo concepts for Our clothes yeah, yeah. were ruined. Do you remember that? Outside of the believed. starlight? Mm -hmm. Was it the, excuse yourself? Was is that right? Starlight? Yes, I, I was going to check on the car. So yeah. Enrique is going to excuse yourself. You're going to leave the shack, go outside, uh -huh. and uh, check on the car. I'm checking on the car. What I'm doing is I'm following. Um, Safa? Okay. Safa. So let's split the scene for a moment. Yeah. Um, uh, these three compatriots are staying inside the shack talking to the beetle, and uh, you are leaving the shack to go outside, and your real intent is to find out where Safa went. Yeah, I want to know the direction that she went, because then that is the direction that Jorgen went. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, She'll so, know the route. Yes. Right? So I'm, I am uh, checking on the car seeing her from a distance, and I'm going to start to follow a little bit, but I'm not going to go too far. I will point out one problem. Yes. That is that it's very dark out here, as I have mentioned. Yeah. You don't have heightened senses. I do not. And I don't think you have a light at the moment. I don't. So, <laughs> flashlight. <laughs> or anything. You got maybe your phone. I'm not going to use my phone. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep that put away. Okay, so I'm going to try to listen then for where I hear whatever footsteps. So unfortunately, you don't have a way to see in the dark, nope. and you're just going to do your best. I'm going to do my best. I, I love this, actually, because we've already seen what he does when he can. But, yeah. didn't but you But this go is through... the inversion, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't you go through my murder kit? I did go through your murder kit. There's I saw it's back there. in there. But you'd uh, have to open uh, the car door. Have to get yeah, yeah the car. I think it would be kind of loud. So but... you're going to you're going to head off in the direction where you know the Range Rover to be. Yes, because we parked the Range Rover not far from the shack. Not, we were not, able to see not it. Not too far. Uh, so you're, it takes, it's really weird, though, to be a nocturnal predator, but not have not night have vision that. come with right? the kid. Yeah, no, right? it does not come with it's it. It's very, very strange. strange. Your eyes are no better than they were when you were alive. So kind of irritating when you think about it. So you are moving yeah. off in that direction. Mm -hmm. It's not pitch black out here, even though the, the night is overcast, but it is very, very dark. And it's going to be a little difficult for you to make your way easily, but you can do it. Mm -hmm. So far, you have seen neither Safa nor Jorgen. No, Jorgen. Oh. I'm going to uh, then there aren't go people back. out here either. It's like there's no one out here. Okay. And you're not sure. Maybe they're in the tents or the sleeping bags, but you don't think so. Sure. But e e even his even his sort of cadre isn't milling around. Mm -mm. Hmm. Uh, really bad. Take note say. of that. Take note of that. I'm okay. going to uh, make my way back to the Range Rover. Back to the Range Rover. Okay. And when gonna... you reach the Range Rover, uh huh. The doors are open, and so is the back. Oh. I'm going to stop in my tracks, and I'm going to go up against the wall uh, uh, that's nearest me. And You're I'm pretty sure to... Betty locked this thing when oh, she left I, yeah. it. She always yeah. does. Somebody's popped it. Someone's popped it. The emergency kit is open. I'm grabbing a rock, something on the ground that I can throw. There are plenty of them. And I'm throwing it at the shack. You're throwing it at the shack using perhaps preternatural strength to yes. cover the distance. Yep. Throwing the rock, hurling it through the night, bam! Right on the floor. Uh, actually, it's probably more like a yeah, yeah. Uh, some loud thud. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap! What's that? The beetle is out the door. I'm right behind. Aluminum bat in hand, throws the door open. The light spilling out into the compound mm -hmm. from the shack illuminates yeah. the area, so you can see the trash, the tents. The sleeping bags, and there are there is nobody in any of these things. Mm. And of course, now you can sort of see what you're doing in the back. Mm -hmm. First thing you see, Betty, of course, is your Range Rover with all the doors open and the <gasps> trunk popped. Yeah. <gasps> My oh. magical murder bag. <laughs> <laughs> Safa, hey Jorgen, what's up? Nothing. Nothing. Shit. What have you done? I start running towards them. So if I went one direction, right, then on my way back, that's where back to the car, all that's popped open. These are the only two directions to go outside from right. the underpass, right? That's right. So I'm now running back towards uh, the car. 
uh, and I'm saying, whoever it was that did this went this way, and I'm running. Uh, what's your intention? Are you trying to distract them? Are you trying to attract attention? What are, what are you trying to accomplish? I am trying to do a couple things. So if I started to see Beetle looking at them and starting to blame them, it's that what have you done mm -hmm. that I'm catching wind of, mm -hmm. that I'm trying to smooth over in a sense. Oh, uh, So uh, clearly none of us did this. And to throw blame off yourself. Yes. Yes. And I'm saying, look, whoever did it is that way. Are yeah. you coming with me or not yeah, to yeah. Beetle? Mm -hmm. I have a hard time imagining it's his people after the interaction that we had yeah. before. Yeah, his people seem to have absented the, the themselves. People who touch the truck, I mean, bad things happen. Yeah, uh, they were sufficiently scared. They're so terrified this is somebody of later. This is somebody else, yeah. yeah. Hmm. A few yards away from Betty's car, there's another car. Whoa! Someone, is it a silver Tesla? Someone has pulled up. It is not a silver Tesla. Oh, look at the window. It's a Jag. Okay. A sleek black Jaguar. That's late a fucking model. cam car. Ooh. And there are two individuals leaning up against it wearing impeccably tailored suits. That's a venture car. I stop. I slow down. I see them. It's the two kindred from the Macum Bar. Oh, it is. Rafe and Wacom. Oh, oh, they're the homies! These, these fellas? Wait, okay. did they, did they, they fuck with car? my car? Here, this is, uh, these are your friends. I thought we were now let's buddies. Picture it. Yeah. You're running in their direction. Yep, I'm running in their direction. You're masked uh -huh. and big Yep. and buff. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And I recognize, I mean, I can smell Camarilla. I so can... as they're reaching into their suit jackets for their pistols and aiming them at you, hey, wait, hey, you wait, 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 wait. I pull off the mask. We're here on business just like you fellas. No need for this. And I activate. Uh, 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 once again, it's, you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, just so they know. Just, just so they know. Let them. I'll, I'll keep the daunt going. <laughs> okay, it's a new scene, so mm -hmm. daunt again. Again, it doesn't require a rouse check. Mm -hmm. You know they're not mortals, so you know it won't work automatically on them. But I know that they're gonna sense something emanating from. Them. Certainly, sense the the change of it. in you, the mm -hmm. intensity, the intention, the menace. And of course, you will get to add dice to any you know intimidation rolls that you make against them. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Back at the ranch, or as the case may be, the, the shack, the hovel. Yeah. Do you do you know what's going on here? Did somebody follow you? Uh, unfortunately, we're all learning this at the same time. This is, this is not good, not good. I, I mean, I know where all my people are. They left when, as soon as you did the, whoosh, the big snickersnack, that no, they're, they know better than to stick around for that. They'll lay low until morning, but uh, I don't know where Seth and Jorgen are. I don't know where Jorgen yeah. are. This concerns me as well. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody's, somebody's fucked with your car. Yeah. And where's your guy? Yeah. Ran right past you. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I'm gonna see where, where Rico is running and just kind of like walk behind him. But I'm also like, still, I'm, <laughs> I'm having I'm having a Tom moment. So I'm also like, Jameson, <laughs> come with me. Yeah, yeah. I'm gone. <laughs> what? You left so me? you vanish? I vanished instantly. That doesn't help. So I turned to my side and I'm like, Jameson, Jam Bam. And then yeah. I like <laughs> lean closer to home, I'm like, Tom. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm smelling he's, whatever he's, is in these crock pots. He's not there. Are you remaining in I'm the shack? To uh, everybody else left. I'm smelling the blue one. Oh mm -hmm. my god! Uh, so I look up and all my friends are gone. Yeah, you're all alone in the night. A single red tear. <laughs> Dude, are you, are you gonna, are you gonna, are you gonna, are you gonna sample just, these? I might have to take a sip. Is there like a ladle or anything? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. It just. Great that everyone's here when I need them to be here. Okay, do you have my back? I'll help you look for your people if you help me sort this out. Yeah, yeah, we gotta find out what's going on here. This, okay. is, this is not good, not good at all. Not good at all. Meanwhile, in yes. the shack, you are examining the uh, percolating liquids. Is yes, that right? I am. Mm -hmm. The one that he said could make you fly. Yeah. That's the blue one. That's the blue one. Amazing. I, do I see a, like a ladle in it, like a punch? 
uh, well, strewn about, strewn about the uh, the workbench where these where these three pots are percolating, and they are of course plugged in because he's got electricity oh, yeah. Yeah. wired up in here somehow. Somehow, sure. uh, probably siphoning it off from a, a now defunct uh, uh, street lamp or something like yeah. that, which might explain why it's so dark around here. Right. Uh, the uh, the bench shelf surface is covered with spoons, ladles, yeah. knives, forks, chopsticks, I all wipe kinds a spoon of utensils. Off a nice shirt. <laughs> no, 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 off of. And this is like you're wearing like yeah. four thousand dollars minimum. <laughs> yeah. Well, so not, you not, wipe not, the not, spoon not anymore. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. You wipe the spoon off yeah. on the I jacket. Wipe the spoon off, and I take a sip of the blue one. So open the lid. The aroma is really strange. It's like. Uh, dirty tennis shoes, blood for sure, um, <laughs> maybe some soap. Uh, so it doesn't go down some easy. Ide <laughs> unidentifiable Dawn. stuff, and you dip a spoon in and you sip. So, now normally, you know by now because of your experimentations with food. Yeah. Normally, when you ingest anything that's not blood, what happens? It comes right back up. This does not come right back up. It goes down wow. smooth as silk. Okay. It stays down. It burns a little bit, yeah. and it it, it, it smells, you know, not quite rancid, but certainly stinky, like a gym, okay. like a sweaty gym locker. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's uh, stale. Do you? But um, stale. Humid. It stays where it's supposed to, and you, know, you don't you don't feel any different. Maybe you didn't drink enough, or who knows? Or maybe you don't know how to use it. Hmm. Hard to say. Hard to say. Okay. okay. More honestly, I, I, I spoonfuls probably. I tried enough. to jump. Try to jump a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's it's possible you feel a little springier. It's hard. It's hard hey. to say. It's a little spring. Difficult right. to say. Uh, I grab one of the empty mason jar mm -hmm. that was, okay. had the blood in it, and I scoop it oh. up and I just take as much as just I take can. The AB container. Yeah. Do the whole thing as much along, as I can get along down. with the remnants of the of the AB blood. I assume that Betty sick. didn't leave it much. <laughs> there might be a couple drips. Yeah, it's just backwash, I guess, probably. You did, did well, you I didn't pop, lick you, the jar clean. Yeah. It was just like old, separated oh. blood. There's, some, it's, it's there's gonna, a chunk in there still? Yeah. That's, I, I feel like, like that's a... Um, yeah, maybe I'll shake it out. I don't know if that's good or bad. Well. <laughs> I think we'll, we'll, we'll find out too. Yes, a little bit of no pieces, yeah. pieces, parts. <laughs> blood alchemy is a strange thing. Some blood alchemy works only on thin bloods, but there are rumors about kinds of blood alchemy that, of course, can be used by regular kindred. Perhaps this is one of those. You're not sure because you don't know what it's supposed to feel like. Right. You okay. don't have anything to compare it to yeah. except blood and the ill-fated uh, milkshake experiment. Right. Okay. Uh, so, you choke it down. Sweaty sneaker taste and all. It's doing something in there. <laughs> all right. It's burbling away. <laughs> Busy lifting drink. I just I walk out and I want to see what's going on outside now with my crew. Okay. Your legs feel different. Oh yeah. Yeah. New. It's 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 almost as though you've been working out. More muscular, maybe. Okay. Beef. More buff. Yeah. Springier. Okay. Ooh. Huh. Yeah. It's a little spring in my step. Yeah. Yeah. God, I love what I'm seeing. Yeah. I'm seeing a change in you. <laughs> he walks out right past you without noticing you because yeah. as far as anyone knows, you're not there. No, 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 I'm gone. I have my own I have my own life. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's I'm go. I'm with Beetle, since Beetle, my coterie uh, loved me. <laughs> Beetle is uh, he's making his, he's making his way to follow <laughs> Enrique. Past your car. All right. So, uh, and anyone, of course, who is in the in the uh, outdoor area now, in the compound, in the uh, in, in the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in the area outside the shack, can hear this. All right. So, uh, uh, don't know what you're doing here, but uh, this is pretty interesting. It is indeed. What are you doing here? Sure, I don't know what you're uh, doing your here either. Cool friend, uh, Betty, with you. Yeah. She gave us her card. Yeah, is that who you you you've come for, Betty? Is that who you're looking for? Or is this all? No, just no we're not, we're here for we're definitely here for something else. I'm uh, stepping forward. The daunt is still activated, but I'm doing it. This is what I'm doing. I'm stepping into them. I'm letting the daunt uh, emanate. You want them to feel it. I want them to feel this. I'm letting that go and activating awe. Ooh, I want the clenching it up. <laughs> so one moment you're formidable. Intimidating. Stepping forward intense. with that. And the next Wait. moment, 
you're just charm and disarm. <laughs> you're attractive, you're magnetic. Come on, buddies. I know, I know that this is a chance encounter, but it's just turns out that we're old friends from that bar in the same place at the same time. So why don't we just sit down and have a chat? Okay, so they're here for drugs. They lower their pistols. <laughs> Chances are you're probably here for similar reasons. Maybe. Maybe. So, uh... Did you make a buy? Did you make a deal? I'm not the one that's in charge of that. As you know, I'm here with our old pal, Betty. Yeah, so, where is she? She's, you know, she's back there. But listen, she is here. have you been here before? Is this your first time? Or is this your first time? You have no idea who the hell we are, do you? I know who you are. <laughs> OK, <laughs> who are we? Who you are. I should, <laughs> this, he looks to his buddy, Watkin. This should be really, I can't wait for this, actually. Like, who do you think we are? Well, you just said that you're uh, uh, you're looking for Betty. You must be old friends of Betty. No, we we're not old friends of Betty, but we are friends of Benny's. <laughs> does that name mean anything to you? Yeah, of yeah. course it does. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Uh, Is there some good reason why we shouldn't just shoot you now? Why would you do that? Why are you messing with these thin bloods? Why do you? Why would you think that I would come here alone? You know that I'm here with other people. It is at this point when uh, Beetle and Betty arrive on the scene. You go past your car and you note that the doors are all open. The uh, trunk has been lifted up. Your uh, go kit has been opened and rifled. You can't tell That's if anything's cool. missing or not. You don't think that the secret compartment has been disturbed, but you're not sure yet. And um, maybe, you know, 20 yards away, you can see Enrique talking to your buddies yeah. from the Mackam Bar. They've each got pistols in their hands. They're holding them casually at their sides. As casually as one can hold a firearm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But they're both out. Mm -hmm. uh, Betty! Oh, Wadkam Rafe. How are you, darling? Hey. Well, good. Thanks. You're Do a sight you know for sore eyes. with my car? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. We didn't know it was your car. Your oh. friends, Betty, are asking why we're here dealing with these thin bloods. Well, I'm wondering why you messed up my murder kit. I, that's... Murder kit? Well, yeah. I'm <laughs> Start impressed. to go through it. It's like a Louis Vuitton bag. Yeah. Like, But it's like... Old yeah. Louis Vuitton. Vintage, right? Yeah, Louis like, like yeah. back back before His it was father. probably expensive, back when they made luggage. Like it's that yeah. old. Nothing is missing. Okay. But everything mm. has been rifled through. Okay, okay. Yeah, we should have known that we should have known these uh we should have known these uh these dust born, these mercurials couldn't afford the car like this. Right. Oh. Yeah, we should have realized it belonged well, to Well, as long else. as it was you and not one of them touching my stuff. Blech. And you see like a complete like code switch happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, like, I'm She's on suddenly your standing team. a few feet away from Beetle, and she suddenly, like, dawned like a different Thanks avatar. a lot. Yeah. Well, look what you did to the, look what they did to my bumper. Ugh. Oh, my God, you're going to wrap me out. <laughs> Who says this? Beetle. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, but I, I don't say anything. I don't talk. Yeah, I don't, but, I don't yeah, say right, anything. You're playing, you're playing a sophisticated game. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, play, I'm playing um, 40 chess. And I'm going to step back and let Betty take, uh, but what uh, I, take point. When take he says point. that, mm -hmm. I'm going to give him a meaningful look that's like... Were you trying to convey something without speaking? Yes. Uh, make it wits and subterfuge. And let's see if he Ooh. picks up what you are putting down. I have six of those. Yeah, this nice. is going to be good. Now, two reds. How scary is a, is a vampire of a gun? Like I just that's, can, a, still, that's an excellent they can, question. Yeah. They, can they only us, inflict yeah. superficial damage, and as a vampire, as a kindred, you automatically cut incoming fifty percent any incoming damage. So if it did four points of damage, you'd only take two. Mm. If you took enough bullet wounds, yeah, you'd be put down eventually. Okay. Right. But it's not easy, especially pistols that can only fire a few shots every few seconds. Okay. Machine guns, shotguns, other kinds of larger bore weapons can yeah. really mess you up. Sure. But in order to kill you, they've got to take your health all the way down to torpor, drop you into a coma essentially, and then kill you. It's right, not easy that. to kill a vampire with a pistol, but it is easy to mess up their night. And of yeah. course, healing that expends possibly willpower, it definitely requires rouse checks to heal. So he's, they have these guns out. They're not saying we're going to kill you. They're saying we could fuck up your night. Yeah, yeah. essentially. Okay. Yeah. Make it pretty tough. That's exactly they're what they're doing. Just letting you know. Five successes. 
five really? successes. Really? Nice. Jesus. Yeah, on six die. Not bad. So, so the night's getting good. better for Betty. Yeah. So he, uh, an element now. Yeah. Yeah. he got the gist, the overall like gist that. that he should play it cool. Should be quiet. And keep calm. Yeah. And suffer any injustice I'm about to do upon him. Mm, I think the nuance has probably escaped him, yeah. but he yeah. got the overall yeah. message. So he lowers his baseball bat but doesn't drop it, and he takes several paces backwards toward the shack and lets mm. you do your thing. Yeah. He does not look happy. No. Yeah. And well, he he's looks not really to... nervous no. about these two guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just happy it wasn't them that touched my stuff and it was you when I zip it back shut. This is a really interesting situation. <laughs> it is indeed. Oh, you it know, is. Kindred doesn't find himself in this kind of situation very often, Betty. You don't? No, not really. Oh. I mean, we came here to bust this up, but... Um, oh, we did too. You see... Oh, yeah? I don't know if you're familiar with the former affiliations of my clan, but we had very interesting ways of letting off steam. And since sort of losing that outlet, I find myself under bridges and in scary places more and more often. And I just casually lift up the hand that's right. sitting by the wheel and just like lick at the nub. The severed hand, <laughs> the one that got caught, that yeah. you cut off. Yeah. Mm. Badass. I, I kick up the second one and like toss it to Rico. Where'd you get gotcha. that? Where do you think I got it, darling? And, you, and they probably could see it's like still fresh. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, it's dripping. It's 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 got uh, you know, blood coagulating at the yeah. bone. I'll take a look at the nub. It's like mean, a popsicle. You know, it's not, <laughs> it's not fresh anymore. Doesn't matter to Betty, but mm -hmm. it's 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 mm -hmm. it's certainly not delicious. Only one way to you'll, find out. You'll look at it. Of course, yeah. it's cold now. Yeah, mm, not my favorite, but. <laughs> Check you out, badass. Well, I figured nobody would mind if I kicked around some thin blood. So, uh, where'd they all go? Did you? Did you? Whoa! They scattered. If sure you did. take a couple of hands, and it's like you took a few legs these days. My God, what a bunch of pussies! Well, I guess you know the legs are what they still had because that's what they ran really fast on. But you know. I, I didn't get your name. I'm so sorry. And I'm didn't going to put the hand yeah, yeah, in my hand How about fuck you? and offer it to shake their hand. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, that's, no. okay. that's okay. No, no, no. We're, we're, it's all right. Uh, you know, got places to be Doesn't tonight. Doesn't mean that we can't have a sense of humor about things since we're here for the same reason. <laughs> you guys are fucked up. <laughs> but you enjoy this it. This is amazing. Tell. This is really cool. Maybe Benny ought to recruit you. Maybe. I was maybe just about to, to tattoo Beetle's face. Maybe you ought to enjoy join the team. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah, we yeah. heard about his tattoos. I thought it would be kind is of it, ironic. Is it, is it true? Well, I don't know. I was going to find out. Wow. Can we watch? Well, I think you scared him away a little bit. We well, were about to find out. He's right there. Yeah, but... You came in here threatening a little bit. Yeah, that was kind of the point. It was, but you're not really going to extract the information. Didn't, you know, we didn't you know, find anybody, say, and we saw the car. Track more flies with honey, you know, yeah. and these are clearly flies. Yeah, you got that right. Uh, I'm Wackham. Wackham. Yeah, yeah, my uh, younger uh, buddy here is Rafe. Wackham and Rafe. Hey, I'm Rico. They they got it when they were embraced. They must have been barely out of college. Oh, they've got that. They've got that fraternity. Yeah, blood. yeah. And they like me. That's weird. Okay. I'm just like you, you left a good impression. I in guess that booth. you made a great impression in the Macam Bar. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, now I guess you see. You in business. You had the thing with the hat. And... Still gnawing on the on the nub. I'm Some like jump. kind of walking around the car. Like this is a nice ride. I'm gonna need a new one. Yeah, you like my like my jack. Where'd you get it? Do you have a hookup? I got a guy. I got oh. a guy. Yeah. Who's doing most of the talking right now? Wacom. Wacom. Yeah, Wacom. It seems like he runs it. That's what I want to assess. Which one of these is the alpha? Who's the beta? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to use is that the nomenclature, character sheet? Mm -hmm. uh, Wackham is clearly in They're charge like of this. It's a, yeah. it's a two-person or two-kindred operation, and mm -hmm. Wackham is clearly taking the lead here. Mm -hmm. Rafe is a little bit quieter, and he's also more observant. He hasn't stopped watching uh, Beetle since he got here. I'm he's gonna... he's a lieutenant. Got it. So uh, while this interaction is happening between Betty and uh, Wacom, mm -hmm. I'm going to kind of step aside from that, and I'm going to just kind of position myself uh, next to, is it Wraith? Wraith? Wraith. 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 Uh, and just kind of, <laughs> just kind of... It, just hang out with him a little bit and chuckle at what's passing between He's going to bro them. out over here? He's going to bro out with, with Wraith. 
Rafe? Is it Rafe? Am it's I saying... Rafe, I think. Rafe? Isn't it Rafe? It's Rafe. 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 You're going to lose my shit. Rafe. I don't think you've called I'm him sorry. Rafe. I don't, I don't believe you've said that to his no, face No, no, no. Is it Rafe? I could, Rafe. I could be wrong. Rafe. Tell me if I'm wrong. Like Rafe Fines. Rafe. Yes. Yeah, it's Rafe. Oh my so, god. Like uh, Ray Fines, I say to him. Like Ray Fines. Well, a fine actor. It's your lucky night, Betty, because not only do we have, you know, uh, Beetle Boy here, but we got two of his people, too. Do you? Yeah, they're in the trunk. <gasps> How'd you snag them? Get eyes on. Yeah, no, I'm just buying time and hoping that you, Jamie has my back. Well, no, but I'm saying that they may have. Yeah. Mr. Wendell. Mr. Wendell. No, they have Jorg, and, uh, Jorgen and, Saf and, and Safa. We, and we Safa. don't know who they have in the trunk. The triangle? That's you true. think the triangle fits in the standard trunk? Okay. Well, I'm just be like, oh, I thought everybody scattered. How'd you catch them? They weren't that hard. Oh. Uh, they're just, you know, they're just thin bloods. I'm going to try to, like, distract him, and I'm going to give, like, a meaningful, like, look to Tom across the way, like, to... So Tom is, selfie? as far as I know, you have been closer to the shack, but you did come out. Yeah, I came out. Yeah, I've been after watching having imbibing your, yeah, your potion. Yeah, I'm feeling a little lighter than I normally do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. feeling something's, 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 yeah. something's definitely happening in there. And I, I see it's Betty. Not entirely pleasant. Uh -oh. I've heard the conversation, so the eye to the trunk is, is yeah. pretty clear. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try, since you're try, like kind of with Rafe, I'm going to mm -hmm. try to, oh God, I never do this. I'm going to try to distract walk them a little bit. I'm going to do it by doing something Betty does like once a year, and that's like by being flirty. Betty? <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is shocking content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. so I'm just going to like, very out of character kind of her. like saunter over, drop the hand, and then just like looking at the gun. <laughs> Can I tell what kind of make and model it is? Of his weapon? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Glock. It's a Glock. I'm just going to put like... <sighs> Hey. I'm gonna draw like one finger from his forearm to his hand and be like, oh, you know, it's so funny. Even in my line of business, I've never fired a gun before. Manipulation and Ooh. persuasion. <laughs> so like good. Very good, though. <laughs> That's really good. It's not your best dice no, pool. No, I, I hate this as a thing. It's I not, think it's I have. Not really your. I think you've got four dice. Four. Yeah. Yeah, and has, so half of your pool's blood is like hunger dice. Oh boy. This is a hail Mary. It is. No, it's rad. It's oh, rad. I love it. I need it. Jamie's help. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you got? I think I have. Okay, no, it's a, it doesn't count as a crit because it's just one fang. Let me look. Yeah. This is where I get confused. Okay. You, you, you have the pairs. So I have two successes. He has a bestial failure. Ooh. He leans into you. Oh, Jesus. He slides uh -oh. his arm around your waist. He <laughs> bares his fangs. He's throwing everything out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Kill me. Too much. You just fuck kill it up. me. I wish I failed. <laughs> are, we, are we getting close to a veil? He shows you no. his fangs. Oh, he's gross. I mean, I can't see that. <laughs> he's so gross. And then he pulls back. <laughs> Gross. Here's your so. papers. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> he I'm his good. Fangs. He showed his beast. It is gross. It's disgusting. It's vile. But he's into it. His beast is at the surface. You can see him licking his fangs. Ooh. Oh, God. It's getting worse. <laughs> Do, do, is Betty responding? Like, sorry. I'm okay. So ja ja Jasmine wants to throw up. Yes. But <laughs> Betty, I feel like it probably would play it cooler. I mean, hmm. um, we'll see. I don't, I don't know. know. Does she? I'm not sure. I think this. Um, it's certainly not uh, up against her red lines, but it's so out of character for her. Yeah. It and is. she's so bad at this. Yeah. That I have to give. I have to give Ray for roll. Okay. Hmm. I'm seeing this happen, yeah. Yeah, yeah unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, Ra yeah. Rafe is watching it alongside with me. You better pop that trunk. <laughs> Jerry, pop that How trunk. Many successes Get did you me have? out of here. I had three, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rafe takes his eyes off the thin blood, off the beetle, 
and looks over at what's going on here and shakes his head. Bullshit. He aims his gun at your head. Uh uh. I back tackle. off and leave my guy alone. Nope, nope. That's it. That's okay, all it takes for go. me. And I and I grapple him. <laughs> okay, multiple things happen. Mm -hmm. Apparently. You're gonna go in for the grapple. I am. I don't like that. Right, that's your intention. Yep. And you're gonna take him down to the ground. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pull his arm down and around and take him down. Your intention is to immobilize him. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Wacom pulls back and, and shakes his head yeah. as if to clear away uh, cobwebs or, or quell the, the sound of his beast. What? what? What's going on here? I you tell me. You tell me. I think I'm going to play my more... Um, you flip the script? I'm going to flip the script a little bit because I'm, I'm very good at playing people against each other. Yes. Especially <clears throat> these types it's of college of boys. <laughs> and so I'm going to say, oh, it looks like your boy's a little jealous. Ooh. That's what it looks like to me too, and I'm just pulling him to the ground. <laughs> uh, I would like um, manipulation and subterfuge from you. Please. Better at that. That's five. Yes, I'm going to take a die away from his pool. He is so befuddled and still dealing with trying to calm his beast. Four successes. Two successes. So you beat him by two. Nice. Yeah. 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 I think you're right. He's going to go into the fray. Okay, I'm holding him down. But he's going to use his gun instead. Oh, shit. <laughs> Watson doesn't get his hands dirty. Okay. <laughs> so he takes same and fires. Okay. I'm going towards the trunk. You're moving towards please the trunk tell of me the Beetle jag. has ran. The jag, please yeah. tell me Beetle has ran. Let's Otherwise, I, have, uh, I will kill him myself. Yeah. He can drink his Larceny. potion and fucking fly One. away. I hope so. Oh, yeah, oh, four? Is that what I'd be looking at, maybe? Okay. And try to pop this thing. Jameson is doing what? Well, here, so as this I am situation begins invisible. to disintegrate. I have yeah. left the place. While all this is happening, I am walking toward this entire thing. Like I am, I'm about to be mm -hmm. part of it now. Mm -hmm. You are still unseen for the moment. Indeed. Now, when when we say larceny, mm. now I have a specialty yes. in cracking safes. Yes, you do. But broadly speaking, I can take things. Yeah, theft. Right. All I want to do is bleep, bleep. I just want to reach into his pocket and unlock the car. Oh, you want to reach into Wacom's pocket and while he uh, is maddened by all of this, use I just want to fob. reach in and go bleep, bleep, and then pull it out. It's going to require an incredible roll to do it undetected. Oh, you absolutely. might become visible to him. Well, yeah, it, indeed, indeed. My hope is that this rapid oscillation between various states of being and also Ooh. apparently he's trying to shoot his friend yes you my hope my hope is that distracted. my hope yeah. is that this is going to help but anyway mm -hmm. if it helps at all my dexterity is three and larceny is four before you roll i want to check with tom and find out how quickly are you moving are you trying to take advantage of the distraction to get in there quickly or are you I think so yeah absolutely or are you moving slowly and slowly? Yeah, well you have celerity so you can move like yeah i do have celerity i got rapid you reflexes are, fleetness technically you are quite quick Okay. Yeah, and I got this flying potion running through my veins. Like Alleg allegedly. allegedly. Yeah, yeah allegedly. allegedly. I haven't really tested that yet. Yeah. But. I mean, it may be, by the time he's there, it may be unlocked and ready to go. Sure. It could okay. be a really cool moment. We'll see. All right, so there are two guns going off. Mm -hmm. One at you and one at you. It's so fast. You are racing around the end of the Jaguar and trying to pop the trunk with your skills. You, of course, are trying to do the incredible, perhaps the impossible. Well, I'm, I'm, but it's, it's very. If there was ever a moment, it's now. I'm returning back to that, those times of my youth. I saw myself in that three, in that three part mirror. Mm. I saw a trip, a Jameson Keen triptych, and I'm just living <laughs> in that. I'm living in that moment. And I want to retain it as long as I can. Beetle says, "Fuck." This. Thank God. He should have ran forever he ago. Spins on his heel and rushes back toward the shack. Yeah, exactly right. Yes, that this is, is the for right the best. Move. He needs okay. to leave. First thing I'm going to resolve is the pistol shots. Gunfire first. Okay. I realize that that is not always entirely the right way to resolve these things, but I have a reason. I think it's going to be really cool. Let's see. I'm what have great, I done? I'm I, have, great time. I have ruined this entire <laughs> session. Oh, that's a lot of successes. It is a lot of successes. It's also a skull. Um, yeah, but that's it, there is, but that just means not a success on that die because yeah. there are four successes here. Um, do you want to dodge? 
Get out of yes, the way. if I can. Uh, let's make it. Um, let's make it. Uh, in this particular in instance, let's make it Dex and Athletics. Okay. So that's... It's not a terrible roll for you, but no, you do have four. hunger in there. You've got yeah. two hunger dice. Which means this could continue to spiral out of control. Yeah, yeah. Something it, terrible. Things got happens. bad the second we got here. Oh, that's one's that's, yeah. cocked, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it jacked? It, that one's jacked. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can we roll that one? Fuck. I got one. One success. All right. I'm going to actually spend a willpower. To reroll? Yeah. Can we roll any of the black dice? Yeah, the, the blacks are the two failures, so okay. I'm going to try to. Oh, uh, so take you, oh, a, that's take a point very auspicious that you had a success pencil, on the pencil, hunger pencil. dice. Right here. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, Jasmine, we're looking for onks. Honestly, the best would be two oh, crits. Double onk. Well, that's one, one so arm. two successes. Two total, and he got three, so you take one superficial wound, but you don't take any because you have the incoming damage. We round it, so the bullet grazes you barely, Ooh. perhaps touches the skin of your neck by a millimeter. Ooh. And, and doesn't, my hands are sliced up. doesn't yeah, penetrate like this. Okay. the flesh. Blam! The sound echoes through the night. The other gun, however, is aimed in your direction. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Um, you are a little preoccupied taking down Watcom, so yes. I don't think there's a dodge possibility for you. Ooh. But because you're moving, I'm going to take away dice from his pool. Okay. Oops, he's got more Wait, than that. Wait, who yeah. was aiming at is who? It, he, oh, he's the guy that I was taking down was aiming at, at you. Uh, and I think Watcom was aiming Rafe. at that guy, right? That guy, he could oh, jealous. Made him it's Rafe who jealous. actually shot you as he's coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rafe shot you. I didn't get them in time to... Yeah. To stop the shot. Yeah, it's Wacom who's uh, pointing his gun at you. Who's pointing his gun at me? Yeah. You take Isn't he shooting Wraith? Isn't he? Doesn't he think that? Because I said he was jealous. He was jealous. That He's just Rafe pointing his jealous. gun in this in this oh, direction. Oh. Of He's on him, I think. Yeah. So yeah. Is there a possibility for me to, as I get a hold of uh, Rafe, to do a brawl check to try to twist him in front and have him take the let's shot? Let's roll it. Go for it. Absolutely. That's really exciting. Sure. Uh, let's make it. Um, uh, that's uh, less about strength and more about dexterity. Maneuverability. Maneuverability. So, and you also have... Potence. Hmm. In this case, that's not going to actually, since you're not damaging, mm -hmm. but you are trying to grapple him, are you not? Yes. But you have relentless uh, grasp. Yeah, relentless grip. Grip, excuse me. Okay. Black grip. Oh, yeah. Relentless. Your Let's make it strength and brawl. Hey, strength oh. and brawl. Yep. I got one. Add your... Add two dots, uh, excuse me, add two dice. Got it. So strength two, brawl mm -hmm. three, plus I'm two, and I'm at one hunger. Mm -hmm. That's true. Do I need to Should do a rouse check for Relentless Grip? Yes. Should I do that first? Probably do it first. Okay. And it's one, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, failure. Mm -hmm. Get a little hungrier. Wow. So that affects this roll, does it not? Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. dude, this is like out. The Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Take him down. Oh, wait, you know like you want that. to. That yes, you really do. Sweet. Yes, you do. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. You're going to do it for me, right? Oh. Oh. Three. How we do? I got three. I just saw blanks from my angle, yeah. but this is a little better. A three successes. Do you have any willpower left that you can um, yeah. spend? I will. Can I have the pencil? Of course. Sorry. I don't oh, no. no clue where we mine will went. Share, we will share pencils. Uh, I will spend a will to reroll my three I failures. I was throwing everything. I Perfect. may have flung it. Take that. Found Put that there. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One Ooh. more. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, Four. Uh, Whatcom's bullet slams into his compatriot's side. Ooh. Doesn't do a lot of damage, mm -hmm. but it hit what he was it's sort unwelcome. of aiming at. Yeah. Um, it's superficial, so he's not going to go down. But he grunts in, more in surprise and annoyance. Like, hey, you shot me! And then you're on him. You're grappling. You're holding him in, a, in your vise-like grip. Oh, yeah. Immobilized. Yep, he can't move. Get off me! Mm -hmm. I said get off me! Mm -hmm. Are you going to play nice or you what? You raced around behind the Jaguar and you were trying to pop that trunk. Yes. What are you, what are you using? Are you, uh, are you using what? My strength. The raw <laughs> brute strength? I'm just hoping that it opens. Your legs are jacked now. Oh, I see. You're hoping that it's unlocked. Yes. Mm. Well, let's see what the role is here. Hey. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be? <laughs> Wouldn't it be, though? That, that, isn't, it be? that isn't how things have gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what have tonight. I wrought? Yeah. I, 
You run a lot. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't, don't, are you ready? Don't ready. So, they, they uh, were, you know, Larson, I just wanted to help Tom dexterity. realize dexterity. his dreams. Can That's do. all I wanted with to do. One hung, with one hungry oh, well, die. One hungry die. Oh, I've got the wrong. Are Jumping. Jesus. He rolled. Hold on. Let me just make sure that I. Literally no everyone successes. is a miss. <gasps> How? But no, but no spooky face. No you just like reach skull, in and give this guy right? a handy. I'm yeah, I skulls. do. Yes, right. You gotta right. spend willpower. No. You gotta yeah. spend so willpower. So willpower. Spend a point of willpower. Yes, Take please. superficial willpower damage to reroll up to three of the failed dice, and Indeed. I assure you, you want some successes. Yes. 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 Bonk. I see one. I see one. Three successes. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. okay. Nice. On three dice. Nice, nice, nice. So, fate gives you the first second, oh. but begrudges you the second one that you needed. Oh, so, you get into his coat pocket, grab the key fob, snatch it away successfully, and the trunk miraculously opens to your amazing wow. muscles. Wow. <laughs> As you're prying it up, it just yeah. flies yes. open. Yes. Flies open. Safa rolls out of the trunk. Ooh. What? Oh. What's going on? What's happened here? But unfortunately, the spell is broken. You are visible. He spots you. Everybody spots you. You are there. Oh, no. Is Jorgen in there, too? Or was it just Saffron? He must have been lying. Who knows? There's only one person in the trunk? The organ is still unaccounted for. You're right, that triangle man can't he fit in the trunk. In the, he couldn't have fit in the Jaguar trunk anyway. He's Impossible. Too big. Much too large. Must be in the back you seat. were right. He's too big. Well, I just, I, Safa's fangs are exposed. She's champing Safa's? at the mouth. Safa. Safa. She Safa. is uh, she's champing her teeth in rage. Let me at him, where are they? <laughs> I got one on the ground. <laughs> so you've immobilized one. Mm hmm Rafe is fired and he thinks he's missed. I think I have to maintain my cover. So you just hear me say, oh, fuck this. This is getting messy. And I don don my cloak and like. Difficult to, to, difficult to do um, while observed. Well, and, um, and after the conversation, shadow it's cloak. tough. Now, are we talking about Cloak of Shadows, right? Yes. So you want to essentially fade from the scene. It well, would it would take you out of the scene. You can't simply vanish in a puff yeah, of shadow. Yeah, okay, but you can think. you can disappear into the shadows. But that would what remove you, you from think? the scene. I feel like it's important for these guys to think that I'm on their side, and this mm. is getting to where I I trust whatever you feel like you should do in the moment. I think I'm I am game for. Messy. I approve messy. of anything you decide. Yeah, I think. I think I'm, that's what I'm going to say, I'm going to say. Now, Whatcom is immobilized. Oh, yes. Messy. Rafe has fired at you, but he looks confused. He sees you've got his guy. Mm -hmm. Something's happening over here. Someone just came out of nowhere. He's got his gun trained on you, but he's clearly out of his depth. Yeah. He did not expect any of this. And as I fade in the shadows, I just say, call me. <laughs> <laughs> so you are going to step away from the scene. Yeah. Backwards, 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 away from the light. Yeah into the shadows, pulling them about you until you can no longer be seen. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. That's what I did. I got this guy. You've got him. Let him go. Are you, are you going to play nice? Because we didn't want any smoke. We didn't want no trouble. Okay, you started it. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you put your guns, you trained your guns on us. Hey, we work for Benny. And you're doing a hell of a job for him. <laughs> you just scared away the person that. And what, you can have a deal or something? What, what, what? Oh, shit. Where'd he go? Yeah, he's gone. Damn it. He's gone. I'm not letting damn go of this it, guy. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm not letting go of this guy. He doesn't even Who's know where to gonna... point the gun <laughs> anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> oh. Jameson Key. <laughs> Jameson Key. <laughs> 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 no fucking way. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Hand in the keys. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just looking. It's nice. Oh, you're you the guy got thrown out of the bar. <laughs> I mean, I get, I've been thrown out of a couple bars, yeah. Uh, listen, you put us in a very complicated situation here. Right. I, I have to try All to right. build, I have to try to make friendships now. How about this? We How about this? Make you let him friend. go. We leave. He's, he's done the mental math. He sees he's outnumbered. He has no idea where... The La Sombra went. 
Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the other, the thin blood he came here to get is nowhere to be found. You can see him clicking the up the, the numbers together. in his head. I can see the math that he's doing and I'm gonna Look. spell it out to him. <laughs> Listen, you lost, you failed. Who, which one of you two is gonna go back to Benny and take the blame? And I've got his friend. And, Are you uh, sure uh, that's how it's going to go down? No, no. Well, Benny's but, not going to like the fact that you guys got in the middle of this. Well, no, Benny's not going to like the fact that you failed him. Because if I know anything about Benny or people like Benny, they're going to think that you should have been able to handle this. You should have been able to come here to handle us. That's quite and you Benny. didn't. So <laughs> this guy, so so uh, uh, Rafe, who I've him. got tangled up, I'm talking to I'm talking to Walkham, and I'm and I'm, I'm I got my my hands my uh, over his over uh, Rafe's mouth, and I'm going to uh, yeah. address Walkham. Listen, 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 pal. <laughs> listen, get off me. Uh-huh. It's going to be either you or him. Oh man, it's going to be gonna you. Come? No, 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 no. It's not going to be us. <laughs> It's not going to be us. You're yeah. going to go back. You have witnesses here. This guy right here is the one that shit the bed, not you. He, not opens, you. he opens his jaws, and for a moment, you think he's actually going to rip into your forearm with his fangs. Okay. I. You've got witnesses on your side. It's going to be your word against this guy right here. Who's the one that shit the bed for Benny? It's, you it's, or him? It's actually Whatcom that speaks in your grip. Mm-hmm. I let him say what he has to say. Deal. You let's, got it. Let's go, and we just forget all of this ever happened. So you both are going to confront Benny as the failures? As far as I'm concerned, Benny never needs to know anything about tonight. Suit yourself. I was offering you, and I'm speaking to Whatcom, a way out by throwing him under the bus. But if that's not what you want, like I said, you've got witnesses here. I'll stand by your word. Um, I can. I think it's better if we were never here. And you were never here either. We didn't see you consorting with Thin Bloods, and none of this ever happened. What do you say? What happened to Jorgen? <laughs> Who's Jorgen? It looks like this. Big guy, kind of a triangle shape. Oh, uh, he ran. He just ran away, the big guy did? <laughs> well, maybe he didn't want more of that. Oh. Yeah, these guys. How about this? To sweeten the deal a little bit. A and I'll roll. let this guy go. And he I'll stand up. If he roll. could breathe, he would take a deep breath, but he doesn't need to anymore. So uh, the hand that right. I had hey. that Betty had given to me, I'll pick up off the ground. Here, in case you need a token to at least prove to Benny that you did something worthwhile. <laughs> This, this is a level of masculine energy yeah. that I cannot summon. No. I don't know how to do this. Uh-uh. <laughs> are you implying any threat? No. If you're not followed? It's or are truly, you really, It's truly an offer. It's truly an offer because an I know, I know, and I'm going to say this, Benny means business, I can tell. And I know that if you go back to him completely empty-handed, even if you're not willing to rat the other or put the blame on the other person, if you have no other way to explain yourself and nothing to show for anything, then you're fucked. So take this token, claim it as yours, and use it if you need it. Give him a trophy. He thinks about it for maybe 30 seconds, and then he holsters his pistol and picks up the hand. Have a good night. Come on, Rafe, let's go. Gentlemen. looks at all of you (laughs) like he wants to rip your throats out, but it's cool. Puts his own gun away, straightens his tie. Be seeing you. No, we won't. This never happened, Rafe. (laughs) Don't worry about him. I'll deal with it. Mm. Yeah. so, Wacom, uh, I will say, I will. Uh, uh, oh man, I'll, don't ruin a great moment. Just leave it alone. I'll just shake his hand. You can see he doesn't want to, but he transfers the severed hand <laughs> into his other one and pulls out the. It's good thing bits. you didn't give him both of them. Yeah, really. There's, a bit of, there's some coagulated, drying blood on it, of course. He licks it off. Oh, gross. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> Fresh. 
They close the trunk of their car, which you have ripped open. Sorry about your trunk. I'm very strong. <laughs> Clearly. He's a lot stronger than me. And they get into their sports car, and they drive away into the night. I think this is the perfect place <laughs> to pause our vampire story for now. Don't get that. Oh, my God. That could have got so much worse. It went way better than I expected, oh, honestly. Time? This yeah. has been Seattle by Night, Season 2, Episode 2. And what was the name of our episode? No Excuses. No, no Excuses. How fun. He still got it. We'll see How what fun. happens next. Next time. On Seattle by Night. By Night. Thank by you. Night. And good night.